I, I the fifth pick Huskars, man. I don't, I don't know. It bugs me so much. It's just dirty, man. Yeah, it's it, dirty. It is. It's really dirty. It's like the fifth pick Broodmothers, uh, Ritsu. What do you think? Huskar, I mean, they do at least have that physical damage out from the Templar Assassins. So they can threaten the Huskar a bit, but... It seems like the Huskar is going to be very powerful, powerful here, given how much magic damage is on the side of fire. Yeah, and then the Naga is going to get like a Solar Crest or something put out on no. the Huskar. <laughs> no. Then, yeah. oh, so what do you think about this pick, man? This crazy stuff, right? Huskar pickers. Ten seconds. I lost to this yesterday. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, so, should be here for the first three minutes. It's pretty valuable. It's valuable. Oh, is Huskar in trouble here? Bottom lane, they're going to be able to bring him low naturally just by right-clicking him down. And oh my god, he's actually stuck the up. He's kind of body-blocked him there. And they will be able to pick up their early... ...really well. He's hitting a lot of uh, side blades that, that I'm not too sure should actually connect. But I think Swindle was slightly hindered as well because the courier movement, they, they really wanted to get the TP over to Z Freak. And as I say that, Ziz dies again. And all of these kill kills lower than he'd like to be. Middle lane, Swindle is going to go down here. A hasted uh, Rubik makes it pretty easy for Susie to pick up the kill. So again, this... Uh... So, I'm not sure if that's really worth or not, but 350 gold, <laughs> why not? Horses when you lay it down and then it dies. Oh no! Our Huskar is going to be picked up and run back right to the cons of the tombstone. Sitting there, Huskar is definitely dead. In fact, Deep Freak, he's got to be a little bit careful here. He's going to go for the kill on Tamu. They will be able to pick up that one. Deep Freak, though, he's dropping low. Saying go. Oh, this MJW. tombstone. His surge is not going to last long enough for him to get out of there. He's going to fall. Deep Freak is also going to go down here in complexity. You're just falling apart here in their defensive lane. Is it just all go middle? The help of Fluff and Stuff's Rubik. They can't get a kill here, but they do know that Fluff is right there and might be able to catch up to him. The ensnare barely goes out, and now Swindle should be able to combo it quite easily. Free kill for Complex. Realize CSF is just a bit too far out there for him to yeah. be able to really get a good tombstone catch. But uh, they're uh -oh. going to fight this one, it looks like. The telekinesis pull back there as 747 moves forward. Susie's going to try and pop the Starks. They're just in three shots. That's all it takes. Now he's going to go on to way two. Two shot there. And now the song comes out, but it's just a bit too late. Z-Freak, he knows this is disastrous. He's going to try and get away. Oh my god, Moo. He got blocked out by the zombie. His hook shot just barely misses there, but still. Two free kills there. Yeah, you know what? I was just about to say, I think Clockwork's going to be sad that he missed his hook here, because yeah. if he had the hook, he would have just walked into the neutrals and found the SF here. Never, they might still get him anyway, but no, no, they won't. A little bit more trap, but in the snare will catch him. Now the Light Strike array, they're going to see if they can combo down the Templar Assassin and no. take away that Aegis, but it's not even close. And Jao now oh, comes on the side. He stalls up Swindle enough. They're going to go for the kill. The vacuum pulls it back in. Jao bumps in and will be able to get the kill with one right click left. Susie, oh, oh my god, the refraction! Man. Oh, he gets it off just before the Laguna Blade lands, and now he's actually going to be able to escape. Same goes to Jao. He remnants right over the cliff, and the TP's in. They're not going to be able to catch Jao in time. Z Freak and Snare? No. And one more. He's 11 HP. That's all that's left. Now Susie's in this awkward position. They will be oh, they got him. Brian comes in for the side. We'll be able to pick him up, and they take away the Aegis, but. Way too's not going to be happy with that. It's only an Aegis, and now he's probably going to die for it. Jao has already stalled off some of these heroes. Light Strike Array will continue to keep him in place, but Susie one shots the uh, Lena. And they're going to be able to catch G Freak as well. Dominated Streak for Jao, and Susie not far behind him. Going to turn for that tier one tower now with the Desolator. He's got Blink Deck. A setup stun, but that hero needs a lot of levels to kick in, and unfortunately, Fire gave them no time of day to get their levels up, so. And a game of chicken here in the top lane. Moo keeps threatening him to go for that hook shot. Now he's certainly going to go for it. Right on a Swindle. Couldn't quite get the cogs in time. They're going to try and set up some sort of ultimate here from Swindle. But it's oh, they have a to bad run. idea. That, oh, that Moo's got a blade belt. You really don't want to go yeah. for him. Oh, bad idea all around. Swindle is going to try and back out. No surge for MJW. Now he lets loose the ultimate. But he can't even get it off. Jail stops him. GG. Swindle knows this is all over. They had to get some sort of fight there with the Naga Siren SF combo. But at the same time, SF would have instantly killed himself on a blade mail so bad idea all around complexity i mean at least you can say well there wasn't much to say about game one for complexity i mean they kind of lost it maybe a little bit in the draft maybe a little bit with 